Right now, we're going to talk a little bit about the Black Film Festival. Our next guest is Kali O'Ray of the San Francisco Black Film Festival. Kali, how are you? I'm doing all right yourself, JR. I'm good, I'm good. Kali, for the people that don't know, can you give us a brief history of how the San Francisco Black Film Festival started? Uh, the San Francisco Black Film Festival started uh, a while back. Um, it's 14 years now, but really you can say it's about 20 years. Uh, my mother came from the East Coast. Uh, she was a buyer. Uh, she worked downtown for a place called Joseph Magnet. Uh, Joseph Magnet closed down. Mother got laid off, and she was looking for different opportunities. And one of the things that she loved was film and theater. At the time, you know, things have changed now with the Internet where you can go ahead and get online and download whatever you want. Most likely you can find stuff. There's still stuff that's very hard to find, but back then... It was really hard to find, so the first thing she did was uh, she started a video company. Uh, it was called AM Videos, and what she did was she sold old black media, black films, black shows. She put everything in a catalog, and that's really the inception of the film festival. So from there, we had moved down to Hay Street, closer to the Fillmore. Uh, it's a big Juneteenth festival that goes on down there. And what she decided to do was a small film festival uh, to kind of supplement the Juneteenth that goes on down there. The film festival got such a good reception from the one day that from then on out, that's what she was going to start doing. So 14 years ago, she started the first San Francisco Black Film Festival. Why is the film festival useful? Well, film festivals, period. Not just the San Francisco Black Film Festival, but film festivals are useful because you have a lot of people that are trying to get their product out there or they have a story to tell, and everybody can't go to Hollywood to tell their story. So you go around to film festivals who are a lot more lenient with uh, subject matter, and you have a chance to tell your story the way you want to tell it. Now, the San Francisco Black Film Festival is very necessary. Um, actually, at the time, the black population, in San Francisco was a lot more. I think we're down to 4 to 5 percent. You know, at one time, the black population in San Francisco used to be 30 percent. And the reason that a film festival like the San Francisco Black Film Festival is so important is because the way that we are portrayed on TV, uh, all media outlets, and Hollywood is not really a good representation on who we are as a people. You know, we always get the parts of pimps, players, thugs, dancers, usually something negative. The whole world, we'll just start with the United States, but I'm going to include the whole world. Their image of the African American is some crazy, aggressive, somebody to be scared of thug. Uh, this is something that gives way to the situation that we have in Florida where this guy sees somebody with a hoodie on, and all of a sudden he's suspect. Now, this man has a bag of Skittles in his pocket and a Gatorade going home to his daddy, but his assumption is that he must be up to no good because this is the image that most people see of us on TV. So what we try to do at the San Francisco Black Film Festival is bring a positive light. Uh, we, we want you to see us as a loving people, the loving people that we are. Yes, we do have problems, and yes, we do have things that we need to address, and these are the uh, subject matters that we like to bring to the film festival to open up a conversation so that people can see that we're just like everybody else. We're doing positive things. Everything that you see of us doesn't have to be us singing and dancing and throwing a football and dunking. You know, there's a lot more to the black race. What have some of the highlights of the San Francisco Black Film Festival been up until this point? Well, we've had a lot of highlights. Um, for one, you know, we started off at a small venue at Juneteenth, and, you know, we've expanded. Um, we've had movie stars uh, come down, Spike Lee, uh, Billy Dee Williams, people from all over the nation. Uh, every year, we always get people that come from international destinations, you know, Africa, Australia, Colombia, all over the nation. These people get on the plane, uh, they come down here and check out their film. They uh, usually do a Q&A so that after you watch the film, if you have any questions, uh, they can address the questions. The subject matter that we have is 
I would say 99% positive. You know, every now and then something does slip through, but believe me, if it slips in, it's because there's a reason. This year, the San Francisco Black Film Festival will be from June 15th, 16th, and 17th. What are you expecting and where exactly in San Francisco will it be? Uh, yes, correct. It will be June 15th through 17th. First, let me say that call to entry is over to the end of the month. We have about 120, 130 in, so we have to squeeze all those down to fit within three days. Um, places that are already locked down are the Jazz Heritage Center, which is right there where Yoshi's is. There's a theater at the back. African American Arts and Culture Complex. Uh, thank you, London. Thank you, Tamika. We're going to be using their theater as well. And just yesterday, we locked down the Roxy, which is over there in the Mission District. And we're probably going to use one more venue for opening night or closing night. Uh, we're also have a couple places on Fillmore where we're going to do uh, receptions and a couple of parties. Um, at the same time that we'll be actually um, doing the film festival on Saturday, um, Stephanie Mills will be at Yoshi's. Um, Digital Underground, Bobby Seale, they're going to be there for a Black Panther uh, fundraiser. And we're trying Tupac to birthday party. Tupac birthday party, and so we're trying to implement something with them as well. That's what's up. So who do you have working with you on this film festival in particular? I know you talked a little bit about Kevin Epps. Can you tell us who is Kevin Epps and what part is he playing in the San Francisco Black Film Festival? Kevin Epps, of course, is a filmmaker out of Hunter's Point. He's been doing a lot of work lately. Uh, he started off with Straight Out of Hunter's Point, which I don't know if that's what he actually started off with, but that was his big boom. That was his bubble right there. Um, right now, he has Straight Out of Hunter's Point 2, Fam Bam. He's working on another movie called Jewel. And Kevin Epps has been a great friend of the film festival for a long time, and he's somebody that's always there helping, pushing, coming up with good ideas. You know, his network is very large. He has a big reach in the city, and that's somebody that's going to really blow up and be somebody huge, although he is already huge. His movie, Straight Out Hunter's Point, is doing very well. It's shown all over the city. It's been up here in Oakland. It's starting to go to L.A. It's going around the nation. And uh, he's really been an a intricate part of the film festival, and I'm glad to have him on board. Of course, uh, I'm the director, but I have a co-director as well, which is my wife, Katera. And she's somebody that puts in a lot of work and understand that we do this just to bring films to the community. This is something that I actually don't get paid for. This is all free time, and I'm working this from A to Z. That's what's up. That's what's up. How do people get more information on the San Francisco Black Film Festival? To get more information on the San Francisco Black Film Festival, uh, the easiest way, of course, is to go to SFBFF. Dot org, which is the abbreviation of the San Francisco Black Film Festival, so that's sfbff.org. And of course, in this day of time, you can find us on Twitter, uh, Twitter, which is Twitter forward slash sfbff, or Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash sf black film festival. Of course, if you Google us, we're going to fill up about 100, 200 pages of that so you can get backlog stuff. You can see stuff that we did three, four, or five years ago as well as what we'll be doing this year. So we're definitely easy to find out about. And if you go ahead and put in a little time and research, you'll see what we're doing. And what we're doing is something that's great. And everybody should be involved black white mexican whatever your nationality is we have a story for you you know uh, our history is starting to become everybody's history before i let you go i think you brought up a very good point i wanted to flush out all the information we needed to flush out dealing with the film festival but you brought up trayvon martin and you talked a little bit about how black people are perceived on film and in television and you talked about Zimmerman's attitude 
I mean, just expand on that and why you you see this as an issue dealing with the media, not just racism, but you also see this as like media terrorism. Is this a is Trayvon a victim of media terrorism? He is most definitely a victim. There's a victim every day. Uh, this is something that is not new. It's one of the main reasons that the San Francisco Black Film Festival is around. We're portrayed as animals, aggressive. If you're caught in the elevator with a black man, is he going to rape you? Is he going to rob you? The answer is most likely he's not. Now, there's always an element, and there are people that do that, but that has nothing to do with race. And for some reason, you know, that's just what we get. If you turn on the news, it's very seldom that you see a positive story about somebody black. They would rather show you who we're killing or what else we're doing that's wrong instead of, you know, pushing us to the forefront as the loving people that we are. You know, we came from Africa. That's where we were, a loving people. That's why it was so easy for them to do what they did to us, because we were loving people. We were willing to take you in, and just like it is just down south now. I can go down south. Anybody can go down south. You know about their hospitality. If you're starving, they're going to feed you. But this isn't what you'll see on TV. We're going to rob you. That's all we do. That's what's up, man. Well, I appreciate you, Kali O'Ray, coming through to the Block Report. Definitely, can you give the... Um, Internet address one more time for people and the date and all of that. Uh, yes, the address is sfbff.org, which is the abbreviation of the San Francisco Black Film Festival. Uh, you can call the office at any time. The number is 415-400-4602. 